Hi guys, Janice here, and in today's video, I'm discussing how you should approach your Christmas training. Welcome back to the channel guys and if you're new to the channel welcome please like and subscribe to my channel and the content. So on to today's video and today's video is about how you should um, approach your train over Christmas. Now firstly if you've watched the recent videos with Dino um, he's here again he wanted to come on to the table to be um, on the video and he's dressed for the occasion as well. He's got his Christmas bow tie. So firstly, I want to wish you guys a, a Merry Christmas and your families and hope you have a lovely Christmas. So anyway, on to the video. So first scene of the video, Christmas is a busy time and, and there's still uncertainty around the world with lockdowns and um, uh, with COVID cases rising and stuff, but, um, and also races in the future. Um, are quite far away, so now's the time to have a little a little break or a little easy time downtime. Now, with Christmas, it's a busy uh, time of the year. We doing okay? He's lying down. Bye bye. Um, uh, it's a busy time for the year uh, year with everyone. Like uh, places are shut, like gyms are shut, uh, um, leisure centres are shut, swim pools are shut. Um, etc. So it can be hard to fit your training in. So don't stress about your training. That's my um, first tip. Don't stress about it. Um, as long as you don't have too much time off, you're not going to lose um, any. Um, you're not going to lose any uh, any any fitness. Um, and it's a good time to do some base training, build the engine, zone two training. Don't have to do any fast uh, fast training. Fast training, and you can also. Um, do the training around your commitments as well. So um, I always like to have Christmas Day um, as a rest day. Some people like to go out and do a run or a little cycle in the morning. I mean, it, it, for me, when I did it a few years back and it was magical, magical but now I, I prefer to have a, um, my um, rest day um, or Christmas Day. And also it, it actually um, is on my rest day um, this year. So it falls on my rest day. Now, in regards to that, um, you, uh, in regards to that, you, you just want to plan around and just be be really flexible. So you might have family commitments, or you might be going to see family, or you might be um, might be going to um, like you might go to a cinema or something with your other half, and, and you don't want to be too much, training too much. And um, yeah, just 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 train when you can, and um, just enjoy it. Don't have any pressure. Um, with races, not until like next year if you've got target races, say for the summer. There's no point. Um, just um, there's no point going hard now because you're just going to get injured. So just enjoy it. Enjoy the downtime. Um, eat lots of food um, within reason. Um, uh, drink if you want to drink. Have a drink and celebrate. Um, and then just um, build it up slowly. Week. Um, uh, build it up slowly. Um, have a few more days off. Uh, extra few days off. Um, you maybe three days off over Christmas. Don't have more than, I'd say, more than three to four days off in a row. Don't lose your fitness and, and just keep ticking over. So um, it could be something like you'd be doing like a cycle, a, a cycle ride um, for an hour um, and then uh, one day and another day you could be doing like a 30 minute strength session um, and then the other day could be a 30 minute run or the part runs. Um, so it's nothing, it doesn't have to be anything. Just keep yourself ticking along and just enjoy the, the festive periods and um, I hope you found this video useful and have a lovely Christmas guys. And the uh, champions of the uh, this stage of category, Henrietta Tarasevic, Emilianis Christodoulou, Kim Chibis, Christodoulou.